wonderful good morning from Munich. I'm staying inside the Novotel Airport Hotel right now. Today is a really special day for me and a big dream comes true. Lufthansa brought back their super jumbo after Covid, the Airbus A380. Since June 2023 they operate a daily Munich Boston and Munich New York flight with this unique plane. I was able to book a seat on today's flight here from Munich to Boston in the United States in first class. I'm really looking forward to this flight and after my Boeing 747-8 flight to Tokyo Haneda this is already my second Lufthansa first class video. It's early in the morning because I want to enjoy the full first class experience including their lounge so let's take a train to the airport and fly Lufthansa's first class. Welcome to Munich's Terminal 2. Lufthansa and other Starlines member use the check-in area here in Terminal 2. The train ride to the airport takes about 5 minutes and right behind me you see already Lufthansa's business class and the Starlines gold check-in. For first class passengers they provide a separate check-in area but it's a bit hidden. My first class ticket comes with two pieces of hand luggage, each of them up to 8 kilograms a personal item and three pieces of checked luggage, each of them up to 32 kilograms included. If you have enough time at Munich Airport, you should check out the observation deck here in Terminal 2. It's open from 8 a.m. in the morning till 10 p.m. in the evening and it's free of admission. The observation deck offers beautiful views over Terminal 2 and the satellite building where my flight to Boston departs today. And now I want to check in and then let's head straight to the security control. Alright, I'm airside next to a Lufthansa Airbus A320 to Porto. My airport experience today was quite good, the check-in agent really friendly and there was a separate security control for first class passengers. It took only 5 minutes. Now I'm here at the satellite building and if your flight is departing from the satellite building, you have to pass the passport control first and take then a shuttle train here to the building. 
Munich Airport offers two first-class lounges. One is next to gate H21 and one is here in the satellite building next to gate L11. I have plenty of time now and I think it's time to visit Lufthansa's first-class lounge. And this is Lufthansa's first class lounge next to gate L11. I have to say I'm really impressed. The lounge is huge and bright. You have nearly everywhere a beautiful apron view. But otherwise Lufthansa's first class lounges are looking nearly the same. The same furniture. But the lounge offers enough comfortable seats. I have power outlets at nearly every seat. Free Wi-Fi. They offer a great a la carte dining. Showers and... Yeah, it is just awesome. This lounge here is open from 5 a.m. in the morning till 10 p.m. in the evening and you have access as a Lufthansa first class passenger and Miles and more Horn Circle member. That's it. I will enjoy my first coffee now and then I will look a little bit around. So, cheers. This first class lounge offers a great beverage selection. You can find here a huge bar with cocktails, beer, wine, champagne, spirits and so on. It's really impressive. But don't forget here in Munich Lufthansa offers only their first class lounges. Their first class terminal is in Frankfurt. If you want to compare now Lufthansa's first class terminal to their first class lounge, I flew from Frankfurt to Tokyo Haneda last year and this video is online already. I got my first champagne of the day, but I'm pretty sure there will be more to come today. And now, cheers again.
There is already one of Lufthansa's Airbus A380s. This one here is flying to New York today, but the plane for my flight will arrive shortly from Boston. It's an eight-year-old Airbus A380, which was delivered brand new to Lufthansa in March 2015. The cabin offers four classes on two decks. On the main deck, you can find a premium economy and economy class, and on the upper deck, a first business and a small section economy class again. The first class consists of eight seats, the business class of 78 seats, the premium economy of 52 seats and the economy class of 371 seats. So unbelievable 509 seats in total. Unfortunately, it's time to leave the lounge now. The boarding for our flight to Boston starts soon and you have to walk to your gate. There is no car shuttle like in Frankfurt, like at the first class terminal here you have to walk. My new rubber duck and I, we enjoy now the last views out of the window, our last champagne and then it's time for our flight. I enjoyed my time here, it was a great stay if you have the chance to visit this first class lounge do it the stuff is really friendly the catering was great and if you know more about this lounge about the a la carte dining about the shower the bathtub and so on and so on i made an own video just about this lounge you can check it out and now it's time for boarding Welcome on board Lufthansa's Airbus A380. Finally, after almost 10 months, I'm flying first class again. I'm so excited. Before COVID, Lufthansa had 14 Airbus A380 in their fleet. Currently, they want to reactivate six of them. During this winter, they want to fly also here from Munich to Bangkok in Thailand. As a first class passenger, I had priority boarding and this cabin offers eight first class seats in a one-to-one -one configuration, so in two rows. My seat for this flight is 2A, I want to settle in now and then everything else later.
I have to say this cabin looks really huge and bright without overhead bins. Every first class passenger has its own storage compartment there right behind me. And yeah, also the red rose is back and here I have my welcome drink. I went for a rosé champagne and I got also some macadamia nuts. It looks really delicious and now hopefully of a very good flight in Lufthansa's first class. Cheers. So before we go on our way to Boston, let's take a quick look around what offers this seat and what amenities I got during boarding. Right behind me I have a little reading light and also the pillow for our flight. And then on my right hand side I have a privacy divider. This first class seat offers not too much privacy so this divider is really helpful. Also on my right hand side I have the buttons for the seat control. And then on my left hand side the remote control for the in-flight entertainment. Here on my left hand side I find two storage compartments. I think this first class seat offers really enough storage compartments. There I have the headphones for the in-flight entertainment, noise cancelling and everything else is right in front of me so I have to turn the camera now. There I have a huge ottoman, it's also a storage compartment and my amenity kit, the slippers, the pyjama, the wine list and menu card the TV screen for the in-flight entertainment, the red rose, an in-flight shopping magazine, the safety card, an air sickness bag and that's it. I'm really impressed by this cabin. The cabin crew seems to be really friendly and now let's start the engines and fly to Boston. Just begun. We will always 
All right, we are in the air. Unfortunately, one and a half hour delayed. The captain made an announcement because of some stuff shortness at the airport. They are missing some loading stuff. But never mind, I'm happy that I'm here on board. On the ground in Munich, we had bad weather, cloudy and rainy, and now we have a clear blue sky and sunshine. That's one of the most exciting parts of every flight. The flight time today is approximately 7 hours and 50 minutes and right before takeoff the cabin crew handed out the menu card and wine list for our flight. Here in Lufthansa's first class you can dine on demand whenever you want and this wine list, wine list, this menu card consists of an appetizer, a soup, a main course, a dessert and some light meals during the flight. As an appetizer you don't need to choose anything, you get all appetizers you get caviar, corn fed poulard, salmon trout, marinated carrot rolls and baby leaf salad. The soup, I don't want the soup today, but as a main course you can choose then between a beef fillet steak, turbot fillet, duck breast or ravioli. As a dessert you can choose between cheese or a mango and passion fruit mousse or some cake. Then during the flight you can order some light meals, oriental metze, that reminds me a little bit on Qatar Airways, a burger, a soup, a salad or ice cream. It looks really delicious and I'm excited how it tastes. The wine list consists of some red and white wines, also champagne, spirits, soft drinks, beer and so on. And now I'm really really hungry so I hope the service will start soon. After a small duck breast amos bouche with corn, my caviar arrived. At home I never eat caviar, I never drink champagne, but here on a plane I like it. Don't ask me why. It's caviar with traditional garnishes. Here I have the caviar, a lemon, onions, egg white, egg yolk, sour cream and a bread. You have to mix everything together on the bread and then just enjoy it. Wow, that's so delicious. The caviar is salty and fishy. I'm pretty sure it's not for everyone, but I like it and this is better than any other appetizer.
My next round for today is the appetizer plate. Oh, it gets a little bit bumpy right now. We have some light turbulences, maybe you see it. And here in first class, you don't need to choose any appetizer, you get all of them. First, I have here marinated salmon grilled tataki style. In the middle, carrot rolls filled with lemon and corn fed poulet with herbs. It looks so delicious. I like salmon and now let's try it. Wow, that's a great appetizer. I mean, the caviar is the best, but I like salmon. Smoked salmon is every time so delicious. The carrots are great and sweet enough. The poulet is not too dry. All in all, a perfect appetizer. And before I forget it, here I have Lufthansa branded salt and pepper shakers. I will enjoy my appetizer now and that's it. My main course arrived, a duck breast with a duck sauce, a pak choy and mashed potatoes. I really like the duck taste, it's so delicious and this one here looks awesome. Also the flight attendant recommended a wine for me. Normally I don't like wine too much but this one here is really great and here I have the entire bottle. <laughs> it's not like that I want to drink too much but okay, let's try it. Oh my god, this duck breast is so delicious. It's hot, it's not cross, it is soft, but the taste together with the sauce is just awesome. I can't remember any flight where I had such a great duck in an airplane. I'm really impressed by Lufthansa's catering today and I'm not really sure if I want to eat anything else. This portion is so much and I'm already full, but thumbs up for this meal. Last but not least for this meal a dessert. I don't like cheese so I went for something sweet. Mango passion fruit mousse with coconut and cacao. It looks really sweet and delicious. Also I got another glass of wine. I'm pretty sure I'm drunk soon but <laughs> never mind. Let's try our dessert. Yeah, that's really a perfect dessert for me. It's sweet, it's fruity enough. The mousse is just amazing. I mean, sometimes in Lufthansa's business class, the catering is not the best, but here on this flight from Munich to Boston in their first class, everything was just perfect.
hour for his meal service is done and I'm pretty full. It was so delicious. Right after my dessert, the cabin crew came around with some chocolates. Poo, if I always flew like that, I would be fatter than I already am. That's true. The cabin gets dark, some passengers want to sleep, but I want to take a look inside my amenity kit now. One of the most exciting parts of every business and first class flights. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Here we have a Porsche design eye mask. It looks like a sunglass. And also I find a pair of socks. A comb. A package with some creams. Here I have a body cream and some... I think that's face cream. Oh, it's really difficult with one hand. That's a dental kit, a toothbrush and toothpaste. A little mint. The earplugs. Earplugs are really important if you want to sleep. A wooden shoehorn. Okay, and that's it. The amenity kit is empty. I have to say, the content is really great. Everything looks so high quality, but my favorite is really this eye mask. This first class seat offers a huge and comfortable 180 degrees lie flat bed. Here on my right hand side I have all the buttons and the seat controls. I have a button for the takeoff and landing position like it is right now. I have a button for the flat bed. And also I have a lot of buttons to customize every position of the seat. I have a button for the headrest for the Ottoman right in front of me. And also a button for the privacy divider. A privacy divider is really important if you want to sleep because this first class seat offers not too much privacy and now with this privacy divider it's much better. There it is. And now let's turn this seat into a flat bed. Alright, and this is Lufthansa's 180 degrees live flat bed. It's really comfortable. Look how spacious it is. It is long enough. Only it offers not so much privacy, like I said. But it's not my first flight with Lufthansa in their first class, and I slept a few times pretty well here on this bed. If you want to sleep, the cabin crew provides some proper bedding. So, all in all, it is a really comfortable seat.
Here I am inside one of Lufthansa's first class lavatories on board their Airbus A380. There are two lavatories right in front of the cabin and look how spacious they are, that's unbelievable. They offer definitely enough space to change your clothes. They don't offer showers like Emirates 8w80's first class lavatories, but they offer a lot of amenities. Here I have a facial and a body cream, also a cleaning spray and facial spray, a shaver and shaving cream, refreshing towels, some tissues, towels and cups and also a lot more <laughs> facial spray, oh my god, so much and mouthwash, that's great. And for first class passengers, Lufthansa provides some pyjamas. Here I have my pyjama, size medium, and now it's time to try it. This is Lufthansa's first class pyjama, blue and blue. To be honest, it's not so beautiful like their old pyjamas, but size medium fits perfect. It feels comfortable. If I want to sleep, this is a great pyjama. But it's a day flight, I don't want to sleep. I think I will enjoy now a few movies and then see you right before the second service. Welcome back! The remaining flight time is now about 2 hours. Many passengers are sleeping but the cabin crew will start with their second service very soon. Meanwhile I watched some movies and Lufthansa provides these Bose noise cancelling headphones for their first class passengers. They have a great quality are over ear but use the headphone covers in your amenity kit. Right in front of me I have the TV screen for the in-flight entertainment. If I compare this TV screen now to other TV screens in business and first class, it's rather small. Then on my left hand side I have the remote control for the in-flight entertainment. This TV screen offers no touchscreen function, so you need the remote control. Lufthansa's in-flight entertainment offers movies in different languages. I found movies in English, German, Spanish, French and so on and so on. They offer latest Hollywood movies right out of the cinema, old blockbuster, TV series, sitcoms, comedy, music, games, special movies for kids, the flight map. The flight map is really important for me. I can see the location of the plane, the remaining flight time and the best feature of this Airbus A380, it is equipped with onboard cameras. You can see the entire plane during takeoff and landing. So all in all, Lufthansa's in-flight entertainment is great.
and there is my second light meal. To be honest, I'm still so full and not really hungry, so I ordered just the gourmet salad with mixed greens, pineapple, papaya, prawns and a yogurt lime dressing. I just want to show you what they offer and I'm not really sure how much I can eat, but it's time to try. Wow, I like prawns and the salad. The sauce or the dressing is a little bit sour, but together with the fruity pineapple and papaya, it's really delicious. The prawns are hot, so it is, I think, a great dinner. We will arrive in Boston at 7 p.m., so I think this is enough for me. I don't need to eat anything else today. I just go to my hotel and sleep. I'm really impressed by Lufthansa's catering on this flight. Everything was so delicious and I'm unbelievable full. It feels like my stomach explodes. Last but not least, I was able to use the entire flight complimentary Wi-Fi. This Airbus 8380 is equipped with Wi-Fi and if you want to use it, you have to connect your smartphone to Lufthansa's Flynet, open your browser and there you find three different packages. You can purchase the messaging package for a 9 euro, the premium 2 hour package for 19 euro or the premium full flight package for 29 euro. I think the prices are a little bit too high, it is too expensive. But as a first class passenger I got this Wi-Fi voucher, complimentary Wi-Fi the entire flight. You just have to type in the voucher code and that's it, then you're online. I hope all airlines offer this in business and first class, it's great. Unfortunately, it looks like that this flight comes to an end. We are already over the United States and we will start our descent into Boston very soon. First class flights are too short every time. The remaining flight time is now just 35 minutes. It was an amazing flight. The cabin crew is super friendly. The catering was great and delicious. This seat is comfortable. The lounge in Munich was awesome. So all in all, just perfect. The weather in Boston should be not so great, a little bit cloudy, but I hope you will enjoy the views out of the window now. I will see you on the ground with my summary of this flight.
Welcome to Boston's Logan International Airport. We're here an hour delayed and the immigration was really crowded. It took about 40 minutes. But never mind, it was an awesome flight with the Lufthansa on board their Airbus A380. And I'm really happy that this super jumbo is back. It's such a unique plane. It's so quiet, so comfortable. And yeah, the cabin crew today was super friendly. It was a nice flight. I talked a lot with them. So all in all, I'm really happy about this adventure today. It was perfect. The catering was so delicious. I have to say, good job Lufthansa. And now I will take the train to my hotel, say thanks for watching. I hope you like my videos. If you like my videos, you can subscribe my channel. And then I will see you next time. Bye bye from Boston.